Hello everyone, I am Murphy Brown, and this is my first video, and here's what we're going to talk about today. I want to talk about Alex Rodriguez. Some of you may like the guy, but personally, I think he's a fucking piece of shit. Lying, cheating, some bitch, if you will. Excuse my language. I don't expect any minor viewers to be watching, or anybody to be watching for that matter, but... Here it is. Alex Rodriguez had, was a great talent before the steroids, obviously. We all know that. And he got the steroids, and he tried to sue the league, tried to sue everybody he could because of his own little problem. Because he didn't want to face up to the fact that he was doing drugs. Not just, not just drugs. I mean, drugs are drugs, but this performance-enhancing drugs, which is cheating the game that he supposedly loves yeah supposedly loves my fucking ass he did it to make fucking money that's why he signed a 250 million dollar contract i mean god if you can't freaking stay clean for 250 million dollars what the hell are you gonna stay clean for really i mean come on now give me a fucking break and they want to have this all nice little retirement ceremony for him he doesn't fucking deserve it. Be honest with you. He doesn't deserve to have anything. He washed up beyond belief. He can't hit his own weight. And everyone wants to love on him now that he's retired. Well, not officially retired, but the Yankees cut him loose because he can't freaking hit his own weight and he can't field worth the damn. That's why they haven't played him in the field because he can't fucking field. So let's get this straightened out here. So he's got a contract for next year. And when the end of this contract is up, he's still owed money. $20 million, I believe it is. And he is going to be an instructor for the young kids. A guy who didn't give a fuck about the young kids. Didn't give a fuck about the new generation. Did everything he could to screw them over and treat them like shit when, they were, when the younger generation was coming up. All he cared about was himself. So why is it now everyone wants to to embrace Alex Rodriguez now that he's no longer playing? I don't get it. And now there's these rumors that the Marlins... Fuck that. The Marlins ain't going to sign him. Why would you sign a 40 something year old guy who can't hit his weight and can't play the field in the National League? Even when the rosters expand September 1st. It'd be nothing but a publicity stunt. But he would do it because he, all he cares about is himself. And that's just the kind of person he is. It, it's all, He's always been It's him first. It's never putting the game first, putting his teammates first, putting the organization first. No. It's always been about him. And that's not the kind of people that we need in sports. Because for some reason, kids look up to these players as role models, as heroes. I don't fucking get that. That's as stupid as participation medals. He's a worthless piece of trash. He doesn't deserve to play in the league, and he definitely will not get in the Hall of Fame with all the allegations of the steroid use and being suspended for a year for that. I mean, seriously, who does he think he is? Warranting and complaining about playing time. Well, the organization promised me I would get to play third base. I would be in the lineup for all for the whole week. Who the fuck cares? Wow, wow, wow. You're making all this fucking money. And all you have to do is go to the plate and hit. And you can't even hit your own weight. So no one's going to feel sorry for you. At least no one with a brain should feel sorry for you. One day, you will actually realize, maybe, maybe not, just how much of a worthless piece of trash you really are. And that will do it for this version of... What I'm calling the Murphy Brown Experience. Hope you watch. Thank you.